Peace, family. All right, today we're going to be propagating comfrey. We'll talk a little bit about it, and I'll show you how I do it. Let's get it. I got a problem. I got a strange addiction. Somebody help me. I need an intervention. It ain't alcohol or weed. There's just one thing that I need. I got an addiction to fruit trees. Got an addiction to fruit trees. I take a December to breathe. Hey, the next one I'm getting to do be. Got an All right, family, so if you look around my garden here, um, we've got comfrey growing in quite a few places. You know, over by this fig tree we have one here. By this persimmon we have one here. Uh, let's see, over here by this fig we have them here. We have them growing in the perennial patch with the asparagus and strawberries, and some by the Japanese maple, some by another fig. Um, I'm going to get my comfrey that I'll be propagating today from this patch here. I've got other herbs and things growing here, but this is basically my comfrey supply. This is where I've been pulling up comfrey and uh, dividing the roots for the last few years now. Um, when comfrey grows, I mean, you can pretty much harvest it at any, at any point. I generally, when I first harvest, harvest it like to wait until they produce flowers and preferably after the flowers bloom and then they start to kind of wilt um, just to make sure that they've gathered enough energy and also to make sure that they supply the pollinators with the pollen that they'll be providing um, but you can really propagate it or uh, harvest it for propagation at any point a lot of my country you know they have flowered you know some of them because i just put them in their uh spots like last year you know they're uh, they're trying to catch up at this point but we're going to get it from here so, I mean, it's real easy as far as propagating. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. So we'll take this uh, plant here. Now, comfrey is an herb that grows a very long taproot. And it's said to mine minerals from under the soil, from areas where it's not really accessible from the surface. So, what we like to do, for one, is chop and drop the leaves to provide those minerals to the plant. And the other thing is, you know, those roots, once you divide them, you know, they will grow, they'll grow quickly and they'll always be there. It's really hard to get rid of comfrey once you get it. This is Bocking 14 comfrey, which is a variety that it doesn't reproduce itself by seed. It uh, reproduces by root division. The kind that reproduces by seed can be considered invasive. So you know, it's probably best, just kind of depending on your property and your needs, to get a uh, sterile type, which is what we have here. Here's a piece of root. Here's another piece of root. Right now, I'm only gonna be propagating in two places, so this is pretty much all I need. I usually take my actual shovel to get down there because the spade is not really doing it today, but this is pretty much all we'll need. So let me take you to the spot where we'll be planting it, and I'll show you how easy it is. All right, family, so this is the area where I'll be planting the country. This is my Pink Lady Apple with the grafted uh, Granny Smith Apple branch on it. And, you know, as I said in previous videos, it looks like it took, it actually flowered, so that's a good thing. But anyway, we're gonna plant our, our country here. Now, the reason that I wanna put country around my trees um, is because with country going down so deep, um, it actually helps to loosen the soil. It also has side roots that help in that, with that as well. And then also, you know, it produces uh, biomass that you can chop and drop. Now, when I pulled the comfrey from the area that I got it from, some of these leaves I actually left in that area 
you know, just to kind of uh, give back to that space. The rest of it I'll be uh, dropping in other places. But I'm gonna put the comfrey here. Now, comfrey, uh, you know, it, it does pretty decent in full sun, but it likes to have a little shade. So I'm gonna be putting it on the south side and the west side of this tree. Now, the, on the north side and then the east side, I actually planted uh, rhubarb seeds. Rhubarb, you know, does kind of the same thing. Long tap root, um, helps to break up soil. You know, the leaves of rhubarb, you can use as chop and drop to uh, drop some nutrients down. The actual stalks are the edible parts that are uh, good for things like uh, desserts and things like that, so. But we're gonna be putting our comfrey on the south and west side. So basically all we'll have to do, I'm gonna put it here, is just kind of peel back some of the soil. Lay it down sideways, lay the root down sideways, and then cover it up. And you don't have to cover it up all the way or deeply, you know, just kind of shallow. And it'll, it'll, it'll find its way and root and, um, you know, it'll start uh, sprouting before you know it. Sometimes it may take some time for it to take off, but once it does, you're in business pretty much. So we'll do the same thing here. We got some garlic here. I'm going to, we'll put it right here behind the garlic. Put the root down. And this is all you need. Really, this probably is about two inches. You know, you really don't even need it that large in order to produce comfrey successfully. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to water it in and then just kind of let it do its thing. All right, family, so that's it. Nice and easy. Um, we'll have comfrey there before you know it. And, um, you know, I'll be doing this throughout the season, you know, just kind of putting comfrey down where, you know, I want to, uh, where I want to gain that benefit. Now also comfrey is good as like a border plant. You can plant them in rows to kind of uh, keep weeds at bay as well. So if you want to, uh, you know, create a border, a natural looking border, comfrey is a good way to go. But um, there's a lot of different benefits to comfrey. You know, leave in the comments your thoughts. And um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Hey, you know it wouldn't be a VA video if I hadn't come back after the peace, family. But anyway, one last thing I'm, I meant to mention about comfrey, um, add it to your compost pile. It'll supercharge your compost pile. It'll help with breaking it down. It adds nitrogen um, in addition to all the other uh, minerals and nutrients. Add that to your compost pile. You'll be glad you did. Peace.